All right, guys, this is gonna be our first ever saltwater aquarium. Not sure if we're gonna be using this light because you wanna do corals, but for now it's gonna do. It came with the tank. It came with the tank, so we'll use it for now, but eventually when we get corals, we gotta get a coral light. But we got some packages here that we're gonna open up for our saltwater aquarium. I'm gonna crack these open and show you guys what's in them and tell you guys what the plan is and all the stuff that we got coming soon for this channel. So let's crack these bad boys open. So package number one, we got Prime and we'll explain all of these items once we start setting up the aquarium. Our uh, natural bacteria, it's basically, it helps start the cycle in a tank. Uh, pretty much you just gotta put that in there and it starts. This is basically a fast one too, I think because there's different types of brands. So this is from Bright Brightwell Aquatics. And then here guys, we have our thermometer. It's a pretty cool little thing. And then, and then this I think is our heater. So we'll crack that open right now. And then I think this is our wave maker. Let me open this up. All right guys, the box looks a little damaged, but it's our double head aquarium wave maker. And I think it says, for 40 to 110 gallons, magnetic. So it'll hang on the side of the glass. Wave maker, very important. Guys, this is my first saltwater tank. So again, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know it all, but I've watched plenty of videos to know what I need to get started. So basically y'all are gonna be joining the journey with me and we're gonna be setting up from day one. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned, man. We're doing our first ever saltwater. I'm so excited. I've done freshwater my whole life, boys. And it's time for a saltwater tank. Time to step our game up. I set one up for my dad, man. And I got jealous because it's been running really well for the past two months. And I'm like, you know what? It's my turn, boys. My turn to get in the game here. Guys, so in this package, we have our aquarium salt. We're going with uh, instant ocean sea salt. This is the one we're going with. This is the one that I use for my dad's aquarium. 50 gallons, exactly what I need for this aquarium. Guys, we just moved in our apartment. It's a town home, four bedroom, two bath. We're still getting settled. This is day one, bro, day one. So, but yeah, man, so we got the salt here and then I went with this sand. It's the, the uh, live sand. Basically it has bacteria in it. It's the Fiji pink and it, it's, it has the water in it. It has live bacteria in it so again from what i've been seeing man the live products like live rock live sand the bacteria that jump starts the cycle all very important things man so i just wanted to do an unboxing video show you guys everything we got this is part one to the setup oh let me see the heaters okay guys so i cracked open we got two heaters right here 40 to 60 gallons each one of them so we're gonna run two in there here's a little quick unboxing bro letting y'all know i'm coming back no more fresh water we're doing salt man so join the journey day one uh we got everything we need to get started oh another very important piece of equipment right here y'all know what this is i bought this a while ago when i did my dad's tank uh refractor meter i think it's what it's called refractro Refractometer. So, hey, settle down, boys. Refractometer. I have a refractometer, however you say it, but check the salinity of the water. So, we got everything we need to start our tank, guys. The only thing we don't have yet is the live rock. I'm not sure if I'm doing Marco rock, live rock, or if I'm going to do dry rock and just, you know, try to turn it into live rock eventually, but I'm not sure yet, guys. I'm probably tomorrow I'm going to have a decision made, but. I wanted to get started, let y'all know what I'm rocking with to start. I know there's gonna be a lot of people saying I should use this type of sand, this other type of sand, different type of salt, different type of bacteria, uh, fluids, but this is what I'm going with, man. So join the journey, let's go. Tap in with your boy, man. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. So I'll see y'all in a few days. Peace. Okay, guys, today is officially the day where we set up our 50 gallon saltwater aquarium step for step i'm going to show you guys the whole process i got my filters and filters and everything the biomedia everything pretty much rinsing it off right now 
I got the two heaters, one on each side, and I'm about to do an unboxing, and we're about to open some uh, dry rock that I picked up from PetSmart. It is gonna be live rock in a few months once we get bacteria built up on it. I did go with this purple tinted rock. I'm a big fan of it. I've seen plenty of tanks on YouTube with this color rock and I fell in love with it. Now, I've seen a couple reviews where these boxes that are supposed to be 10 pounds of rock either come with two to three pieces or they've come with in a max of nine. So I'm really looking for something like this, maybe six pieces in each box. We did get two. I wanna be able to escape this aquarium and make it look very nice. So we're gonna crack it open and we're gonna see what we have in this box. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, guys. My daughter's asleep and I don't wanna wake her up. But uh, there she goes, she's crying. Shh, 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 shh. Let me get this open, guys. Okay, guys, so first reaction. Here it is. We got a rock here, check it out. Decent size rock, oh yeah. This looks like it has a good amount of pieces. Oh yeah, this is nice. So if I'm correct, each one is individually packed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, guys, let me get the baby real quick and we'll pick it up right now. All right, so here's another rock. Sorry about that. My daughter's just hungry. But check it out, man, we got another rock here. Another good size rock. Yeah, man, this is definitely worth it, bro. It was like 50 bucks for a box and then we got like 30% off the other one. So, man, you guys see all the rocks we got here. We're gonna take them all out. What I'm gonna do, man, just to shorten up the video is I'll take all of them out and we'll display all of them right here on the carpet. And then we'll start getting sand in the tank so we can start escaping it, man. So I'll show y'all right now. Got my sons right here in the action. We just cracked open the second box. These look like one, two, three, four, five, six. These are bigger rocks. Oh yeah, these are bigger ones, bro. Check these ones out, man. Oh no, we got more. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me count. Okay, leave those ones right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven rocks in this one. Look at these rocks, how beautiful they are. Okay, leave it right there, leave it right there. Move out, move your hand, move your hand. Okay, here, take this one out. Wait, 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 wait. let me see. Get, move the paper out of the way, okay? Oh, there's some right here. Take them out, Dre. Put them right here. Put them on the car, on the, on the uh, towel. Here, Juju. Yeah, careful, okay, don't break them. Check them out, man. That's a big rock right here. All right, here you go, Juju. Come sit right here, baby boy. Don't drop it, okay? Okay, okay. I have it here. This rock by this rock. Check it out. All right, guys, so here is all the rock. Look at this big rock right here, bro. Check them out, man. That's it. Put all the paper inside the in the boxes, okay? Put the paper in the box for death. Check them out, man. Count how many rocks you got. See if you could do it. Let me see, Juju. Excuse me, baby. Oh, good job, baby. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, baby. No, 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 no. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total rocks, man, for our escape. Wow. Yes, sir, man. All right, guys, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the sand. Hop your sister, Mama. Hop your sister. Juju, no, no, no. Hop your sister. Dre, hop your sister, baby. Mom, almost here. All right, guys, so this sand, you got it, baby? Lift it up. This is the live sand right here. I'm hoping this is enough. I don't want too much. I don't want too much sand in here, so. We don't want too much in here. Dre, help your sister, please. But you're the one helping. Oh, it's heavy. The only thing we have to look for now, which is gonna be probably hard to find, is the clear fire. There should be a clear fire um, paper in here. So, oh, here we go. So it's right here. This is gonna help clean the water up once it's ready to go. I really hope this is enough, sir. 
No, not yet. That's don't put that down. Don't touch. Don't touch that, baby. I hope this is another sand, bro. I forgot this is a wide. Yeah, we should be straight. Got her, son. Good job, baby. Oh man, now what we're gonna do, check it out with the sand, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and scape our tank. I'll pick it up in a few, man. We'll see how we do. Let's get it. All right, guys, so it's time to scape this tank. First things first, I just wanna point out something. This is my first ever saltwater aquarium. I've had plenty of freshwater setups, but I can definitely say that scaping a tank is not easy. And shout out to all you scapers out there who make it look effortless. It's not as easy as just stacking rocks on top of each other and making caves. I mean, you really have to picture and vision a nice scape. You know, take a step back, try to vision it, put it together. It took me about 30 minutes just to figure out the right scape for the tank. But I was very satisfied with the way my scape turned out. So I'm really looking forward to getting some fish in here. I think the purple rock, just it just looks beautiful. And I can't wait. All right, guys, so we just filled up the tank. We got escaped. I put the clear fire in there. We got the jet rolling right there. Intake, outtake, heater, heater, and our light, and our thermostat, 73. So hopefully it should pick up, and the water should clear very soon, man. So as soon as it's cleared up, I'll show you guys it. All right, guys, so here is the next morning, it's still a little cloudy. A lot of the videos I've seen when they use this uh, live sand and they put the clarifier in there that it comes with, it clears up very fast. Mine is clear for the most part compared to what it was last night, um, but it should get more clear than that. So, but uh, yeah, man, check it out. This is what the scape looks like, guys. Check it out, man. I mean, it. I think this scape looks amazing, bro. Like there's caves all in there. You have caves in here, caves over here, little entrance way through the back right there. Let's see, check it out, the back. Check it out, man, over here, caves back there. It just looks phenomenal, bro. And I'm still debating if I wanna grab another box and kind of cap off that, that back corner over here, but we're gonna let this sit, let it run its course. We have the wave makers dual set right here. Intake, outtake, heater, heater. Then we have our thermostat right here. Just gotta press power. It says 78.8. So yeah, man, everything's running good. Um, we got some trash right here. Filters running good. I gotta organize all this, but for the most part, man, it's looking real good. I'm really happy. It took me probably about 20 some minutes just to come up with the perfect scape for the tank. I was just so indecisive, but this just looked perfect. So like even back there from like here to here, thinking about throwing another rock right there, you know? So I don't want to overcrowd the tank with rock though, but it looks really good, man. I like the way it looks, seriously, so. Yes, sir, man. This is part one, officially over. Now, we're just gonna, oh, you know what? I gotta put the bacteria in there, so I'll probably do that too. But I'm gonna let this tank run its course, man. We'll do updates every few days just to see the clarity of the water. And uh, after about three weeks or so, we're gonna get our invertebrates. We'll start off with like our little, you know, hermit crabs. We'll get some shrimp. Just a little snails, you know, little things like that. And then after like another three or four weeks, after about a couple months or so, we'll probably put fish in here. So I got clownfish at my dad's house. They're a little bit of a hardy fish and uh, we got them on sale. So I'm probably gonna bring them over here. Those will be the first fish that I put in here. And uh, yeah, man, other than that, eventually coral light and uh, we'll get start getting corals too down the road. Just, you know, little by little, man, trust the process. But yeah, man, we got everything. Perfect temp, everything. So plenty of circulation in the water. It's looking great, man. Part one is over. I'll see you guys in the next one.